And we begin tonight in Cromwell, where allegations of racial bullying took center stage at a Board of Education meeting. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Brent Harden. And I'm Sarah Sanchez. Tonight was the first time the board met since those allegations surfaced online. Since then, dozens of students, current and former, have come forward with similar stories. And many of them say staff have long been aware of the problem, but have never done anything to address it. Fox 61's Jake Garcia was at tonight's meeting. He joins us now live from Cromwell High School with more on what was discussed tonight. Jake. Well, Brent and Sarah, for the first time since the story broke right here on Fox 61, we're hearing from Cromwell Superintendent Dr. Inzi Macri about the widespread racial uh, racism and bullying being uh, conducted here in, in Cromwell schools. Racism does exist in society and schools are a microcosm of society. So therefore, we would be turning a blind eye if we said that it did not exist in our schools. Cromwell Superintendent Dr. Inza Macri began Tuesday's Board of Education meeting by reading a prepared remarks addressing racism and bullying experienced in Cromwell schools. I am extremely saddened and sorry that students are feeling horribly and are experiencing incidents of racism and bullying in our schools. This comes after two high school students came forward with numerous experiences of dealing with racism and bullying in school in a Reddit post earlier this month. The Board of Ed hearing from the public about their concerns, parents criticizing the initial response of district leaders. It was disheartening to me to see 500 plus comments of parents, of um, past alumni and students, and then to receive two letters that were uh, so full of political jargon. There was no apology, no recognition that this stuff happens. Cromwell's mayor proposing a multi-effort proposal to the Board of Ed and educating all students while offering support to those who experience hate on campus. It's devastating to hear these things and I think we need to do better. There needs to be a zero tolerance policy towards discrimination, but I think it's more than just discrimination. It's about bullying and it's about harassment and it's about how we react to it. The mayor says no hate crime charges are currently pending by Cromwell police, but representatives from the Middlesex County NAACP are calling for an investigation. There should be an investigation, and once the perpetrators of these crimes are identified, they should be dealt with swiftly. So let's just sit and let that marinate for a second. These are hate crimes. Speakers couldn't help but notice that while the grown-ups were talking about hate in Cromwell schools, two little girls played together nearby. Our world is not one color, ethnicity or race. Now the board took what they are calling their first step in addressing racism and bullying here in Cromwell schools by hiring a diversity, equity and inclusion consultant to help the district in the coming weeks. Reporting live in Cromwell, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.